It seems the political elites that lost their re-election bids in just concluded primaries and were replaced by the children of our rulers, all the ones trying for the first time and were shocked out of their wits, have now become Nigeria's new set of willing wheelers. They've been consumed by the monsters they fed. What's our business? Our family business, Abby. They will sort themselves out. What's most important for Nigerians right now is to take Nigeria back. Don't be deceived that any of these political gladiators have Nigeria's interest at heart. It's personal ambition for most. First, do you have your PVC? If you don't, you're already a willing willer till 2031. How old will you be then? Hope you can afford to send your children to good schools, hospitals, and still live a decent life if any of these self-centered rulers get back into power. They've been there, done that, and they want to continue with their 19th century ideas. Nigerians want to choose one of the big political parties as our future alternative. The delegate said, no can do. Don't worry about our future. Any money they get now, that's their own future. We won't worry. I hope their money lasts for four years. I hope insecurity does not consume them, their money, or their children. I hope they live healthy and never need emergency services. That's when even delegates will become wailing wailers. They will be mourn their lot. We will pity them and offer up prayers for them. Since we choose to be religious here rather than use the sense we've been given by God. But it's really simple. Play money politics and give up on good governance. And if bad governance consumes you, you played yourself. Do we even have figures of how many Nigerians died due to bad governance in the last seven years? No data. That's how bad. Dead people are statistics here. Young people, too poor to run. This is your chance. Influencers will monetize their voices. It's poverty. Don't blame them too much. But you use your sense and don't be influenced by any political media who thinks he has a loud voice and wants to decide your future for you. Forget political platforms of monetized delegates. Choose credible candidates and support their structures. How do you know credible candidates since we have been hoodwinked in the past? Research. Look at their past. Investigate their pedigree. Don't let anyone tell you they're reformed. If they stole before, they will steal again. Let them repent and stay in our past. Don't reward failures. Let's also not attack ourselves. That's very important. We can choose different candidates and still be civil. That's the beauty of democracy. If someone supports a candidate you don't believe in, distance yourself from them politically and move with like minds. I will repeat myself. Young Nigerians are 65% of the voting bloc. The people that have money cannot make anyone president except young Nigerians sell their votes. They just don't have the numbers. As campaigns start, they will quote you. They will offer you comfort that is not sustainable. For instance, if a politician buys you a new car and there's no road to your house, will you carry the car on your head? If they buy you a new house and you have to buy petrol and diesel daily to power that house and you don't have a good job, will you beg to maintain the house? It's really structure that we need, not money. Listen, rather than be a local champion in your family, all young Nigerians can vote the individuals who have the capacity to build infrastructure so we can create industries for ourselves and build the Nigeria of our dreams. I'm one lone voice. I shouted in 2014, 2015. You didn't listen. Later, they called you Wailing Wheeler. As they are now the Wheelers. Let's unite to send them to their villages and their fancy homes abroad while we build a future that our children and grandchildren can inherit and be proud of. We will definitely succeed in 2022.